Good evening. Uh, Rami Jara is not in the room with us tonight, though having had the pleasure of uh, dining with his father this evening, I can assure you that he's okay. Rami told us he could not leave his work even for a few days, given the intensity of the fighting right now. However, a couple of weeks ago, when he was in Cairo, he recorded this message for you. So please turn your attention to our screens. We are very honored tonight to have with us Nuri Jara, Rami's father, who has flown in from the UK so that he could accept this award on behalf of his son. Nuri Jara is a leading Syrian poet, editor, and literary, literary theorist. As a dissident of Syria's dominant Ba'ath party, Nuri fled his home country in 1980 and settled with his family in London. Please welcome Nuri. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like first to express my appreciation to all those who have contributed to press freedoms around the globe. It is because of these people that we, that so many truths have arisen from neglect. And it is because of them that we are gathering here today. Please also allow me to salute the brave citizen journalist of Syria. And of course, my equal respect to all those who have risked their lives to convey the truth wherever they may be. People like Rami Al Sayyid, Marie Calvin, Basil Shahada, Bura Al Bushi, and Mika Yamamoto all lost their lives for our freedom of mind. I am proud of my son Rami and the risk he took to share the realities of Syria. He was supposed to be here himself to receive this award. I am honored to be on his behalf. Special thanks to Canadian journalists for free, free expressions, for their effort, uh, effort to on supporting uh, free journalism. Finally, I would like uh, to dedicate the following poem to all those I mentioned and all the others who risk, who risk their lives for freedom. Cain's Day. قال شهيد أسلم التراب شهيدا كن دليلي في الطريق إليه ولا تتأخر كثيرا وكن سندي في الرواية يوم يكذب المؤرخون كن صاحب البيت واروي الرواية كاملة اللصوص أضرم النار في بيت أبي اللصوص سرقوا وجنة أختي ويدي أخي اللصوص قتلوا أبقاري وقادوا حميري إلى بركة الدم اللصوص تهبوا قمر الصيف وفؤاد المسافر اللصوص ربطوا الأخوات الصغيرات بأمراس الحقل وكسروا على حجر البئر جمجمة المراهق اللصوص هتكوا ستارة الحلم ومشحوا بدم الفجر قمصان نوم البنات ولما تساقطت الحجب رأيت ما رأيت كان وجهك القاتل يملأ وجهي 
هذا انا ام عدوي ثانكس <تصفيق>